no idea what that fish head was about. <laughs> Good morning from Madison, Wisconsin. I am on my way to the Grandma's Marathon in Duluth. We had a long drive last night from Delaware here to Madison, staying at the Sleep Inn that's behind me. Got a good, I think like six and a half hours of sleep and then up at it to get my shakeout run and run felt good. Weather feels great up here. So we have like another four and a half hour drive this morning to Duluth from Madison. Uh, we're not staying directly in Duluth. We're staying a little further outside because hotels were ridiculous, but we're gonna clean up, start the carb loading and make our way to Duluth. Finally settled in at the Hartwood Conference Center and Retreat in the middle of nowhere, Wisconsin. Um, and we went straight from our hotel, Madison, uh, to Duluth uh, to pick up to grab some lunch at a brewery that allows dogs, um, so we could be outside. And then we picked up the pack itself, walked around there, and then made our way back to the hotel where we're at now, or this Retreat Conference Center area. It was about five hours to Duluth, about five and a half, I think is what it ended up taking us with a little bit of traffic once we got to Duluth, but uh, it's been a busy, busy day, most of it sitting in the car, so hopefully that's not going to kill me too much tomorrow, but just grabbing my shoes out of the car now, and then getting ready for tomorrow morning, so doing my final plan, final prep, these dragonflies are killing me, I'm not liking all the bugs, but doing my final prep, final plan for tomorrow's race, so yeah. Gonna get prepped and get ready to do this. Get away! Stupid damn dragon. It's gonna be a pretty early start tomorrow. Um, we're about an hour or so away from the start of the race, so that's already early enough. And then we have to have to either catch train or a bus at the start. The train is the preferred option because there's bathrooms and more leg rooms, so that's what we're going for. That means we have to be there a little after five, which means we have to leave here at, what, quarter to four to get there, get parked, and get settled. So it's going to be an early one. It's already seven o'clock now. I'm hoping to be in bed in the next hour and a half and try to get a few hours of sleep before waking up, packing up, leaving, and making it happen. So. Time to get ready for the evening. A good night. That one's dead. This one's alive. I'll take the live one. And here we are two years later.
<laughs> Marathon only. All aboard. up in the train that I was on so hopefully there's another one before I get off the train if not we're gonna try to get a porta potty if not we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do I don't know what we're gonna do yet so just making our way porta potties are looking like they're gonna be pretty full so this might be an interesting first few miles if I have to stop and go to the bathroom goal today is a 4.15. The weather is cool right now. It's supposed to get a little warmer as the day goes on. So as long as the sun stays away, I think we'll be all right. I know the race hasn't started again. So we're set up here at a Ford dealership at the start. I think there's about 10,000 people doing the full marathon. This is a packed crew. It's not a wave start, it's a straight start, so that'll be interesting to see how that happens. But I'm going to get my stuff ready. I've got about 25 minutes until the start of the race. I need to drop off my bag at the area so it comes to the finish. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be an interesting race. Like I said, goal today is 4.15. If the sun stays away, that should be possible. Um, the legs have been okay. We'll see how well I feel though during um, those later miles. My stomach's been iffy these past few races and I'm hoping I don't have the same kind of issue, but we'll see. There's eight stations every two miles starting at mile three, so I just gotta make it a mile three. Um, and after that, it should be pretty good for water's sake. Again, the temperatures aren't gonna be too hot today, but it might get a little warmer towards the end, so.
through the first aid station. Hitting the 5K mark now. Grab my pace. It's getting warm out. Sun just peeked out from the crowd. Cloud, so. Thing. I just need to make sure I stay hydrated. Oh, not carrying the GoPro the entire time. Kayla's meeting me around mile nine on the course, and I will be handing it off then, and you'll see me at the finish. So three miles until that, and it's smooth sailing. This is a beautiful course. So glad I could be out here today, especially while the rest of the guys are running about 100. And I'm only doing a marathon. Sorry guys. About eight and a half miles in. Almost seeing the balloons for the nine mile marker. It's getting warm. I'm trying to conserve pace just a little bit. I'm ahead of time just by a hair, so try to conserve a little more energy. And so far, so good. You hand it off the GoPro here. And seeing you guys at the finish. And here we are. That was a tough, tough race. Um, didn't hit my time goal, nowhere close to it. Um, it, was, it got really hot really fast. Um, right after I handed off the GoPro to Kayla, it started to get a little warmer. And then by the time I hit 15 miles, I had to start walking through aid stations. And then when I hit 20 miles, my body was just worn out. Um, I wasn't getting enough fluids in me. I don't know. I've got to figure out what I'm doing wrong. Um, I was drinking water at every aid and drinking some Powerade too to get some carbs. But maybe I just need, maybe I need something with a little more salt in it. I don't know. These hot runs have been tough. I mean, all year it's been hot runs with St. Louis and Nashville and then now this, but got through it. State number 18 complete. Bella is sitting here wondering where mommy is. We are actually in Rice Lake, uh, Wisconsin. We stopped at a cheese shop. Miller's Cheese Shops to get some local cheese curds. Um, and head back on the road. We are heading to Milwaukee this evening to drink some delicious beer and have some more cheese because that's what you do in Wisconsin. Um, and then after dinner, we are going to head to Chicago to see my buddy Mike that you guys know from um, Chicago blog and that sort of thing when we ran that race and the guy who also helped me in Atlanta um, from the blog, you might remember that. Um, yeah, so Milwaukee, then Chicago, and then tomorrow morning heading home. But thank you so much uh, for checking out the vlog. I might have some extra stuff from that other things, but no more talking. Uh, that's really it. So state number 18 done. And next stop, international time. So stay tuned. Later.